afraid I have nothing new to report. The jury is still deliberating. Is that good or bad? Well, based on the variables of this particular case, my instinct tells me that the jury is working toward a guilty verdict. Everything she did that night, the... Taking Carly hostage, the... Trying to steal that poor baby, she... It was all out of this need for self-preservation, this reaction to what Sonny was doing to her. She was Sonny's victim. She did not deserve to die. But she deserves justice. And you have the power to give that to her. I get that you love your sister, and I am sorry about her death. But I am just a juror, and I really, I shouldn't be listening to I any Just of this. think for a second what she must have been going through, what she must have been thinking. Sonny was so arrogant and full of himself, and in front of an entire room of people, he announced that he was going to kill her. How would that make you feel? All these years, Sonny's thought that he's untouchable, and if you and the rest of the jury acquit him, you're just going to be proving him right. There's something I didn't tell you yesterday. I told Dante the truth about everything. He knows it was really me who killed Claudia. What did he say? Well, I think Dante wanted to keep me hidden. Let the trial play out because he wants... He wants Dad to get convicted. That's why... That's why I ran away. So what are you going to do now? I'll wait for the verdict. If Dad's not guilty, it's over. Ren, I'll come home. And if Dante wants to... Turn me in after that, so be it, you know. I don't think Dante will. I mean, he was really cool to me about Kiefer, and he came to visit me in the hospital. And he's just really easy to talk to about everything. And I think he's starting to see me as his sister, and I, I think I'm starting to see him as my brother, too. Well, at least... <laughs> at least she had somebody to talk to when I wasn't here. <laughs> Dante, I think... I think he really cares about all of us. See, I don't know. See, I don't know if he's a brother first. Or some cop that wants to get what he wants. Michael, what are you doing here? Sir, sure, uh, you're resorting to threats now? You're gonna have my badge? Your son, he's acquitted. You're obstructing justice, detective. You're protecting your father over doing your job as a police officer. Yeah, you think I give a damn about charges at this stage of the game? I've already been risking my life. I put every single person I know through hell. I honestly don't know what you're thinking, but you're clearly not thinking like a cop. All right, you know, you gotta go to hell, lady, because I have done nothing but bend over backwards to try and uphold the law and do the right thing. And you know what has gotten me? Absolutely nothing. If you know, you're getting really uh, transparent here, Claire. You come over here all high and mighty and... Try and convince me this is about justice? I mean, that's a joke. It's about you trying to punch your ticket to the big time. You need this high-profile conviction to get your career to the next level. I mean, if you screw up and Sonny walks, your rising star fades fast. Yeah. You know, if you want to accuse me of being ambitious, fine. I've been called a lot worse. But my record stands for itself. Okay, and I've worked my ass off to get to this point in my career, a place where I'm in a position to take on criminals like Sonny Corinthos and put them in prison where they belong. So if you want to take some personal shots at me, go ahead. It won't stop me from doing my job. Oh, and what a job you've been doing. Yeah, your job was to bring Claudia's killer to justice, but somewhere along the way, you just decide decided... Decided that sides. maybe it's not a good idea to bring a 12-year-old boy and put him up on the stand? You're damn right I did. I do it all over again. Right, exactly. So you should just turn around and go work for your daddy. Oh, you... Turn in your badge. Okay. Come on. Yeah, it's easy all right? for because you to say. Because you're a cop, all right? You have to enforce the law. You can't decide to pick and choose. Oh, but you get to bend the law so you can get that big win, right? No matter what the cost? No, no, you know what? I'm not interested in the greater glory of Claire Wall. I'm interested in that justice gets done. It's either a hung jury, which would be great, which I would actually consider a win at this point. Why? Doesn't that mean we'd have to do it all over again? Exactly. And taking into consideration what I have learned from this first trial, there's a significant amount I can do to undermine the prosecution's case the second time around. There's also a slim possibility that if the jury does not return a verdict, there won't even be a second trial. I like the sound of that. Yes, well, so do I, but let's not get our hopes up too high. The more likely scenario is that the jury is close to a verdict, but there's a holdout. Don't forget, 
It takes a unanimous vote for a murder conviction. And if there is a holdout, you can bet that that person or persons are under a tremendous amount of pressure to change their mind. If it was Coleman, we'd have nothing to worry about. I agree. Know. I agree, but Coleman is no longer a factor. In fact, the final outcome is in the hands of jurors whose opinions we cannot predict. Like the whole thing is pointless to speculate about right now. So just keep your cell phones on. The verdict could come in at any moment, and I will be sure to call you. Gentlemen. Thank you. The sooner the verdict comes in, the better Michael is. Michael called last night. He didn't say where he was, just that he was that he was doing okay. Michael, I know your family is keeping you out of town so you don't have to testify in the trial. That's fine. Your being here has put me in a terrible position. I have no choice but to call the authorities. Mom, now. you can't. Michael only came back because he was worried about me because I needed him. You can't do this to him. Innocent people in the world who have gotten in Sonny's way and died for it. The man's been getting away with murder for years. I am a juror on this case, and it is about one incident, not all the bad things that Sonny's ever done. I have to weigh the testimony and the evidence and base my vote on what was proved to me in court. I am not here to further any personal vendetta, no matter how justified. What I really should do is go to the judge and tell him exactly what you've done. Why didn't you tell me that Michael made contact? Well, Michael called Carly. Not me. Right. But he said that if you're found not guilty, he's going to come home. But if it's the other way around, he's going to turn himself in. If I'm found guilty, then Dante gets exactly what he wants. He'll lead us straight to Michael before Michael can tell anybody okay, the what truth. If, what if you're acquitted? Then we're all in the clear. Last thing Dante wants to do is hurt his own brother. See, that's exactly what Dante said. Sonny, but if that's the case, I don't understand why he's keeping Michael at all. There's no reason to turn Michael in. The trial's already over and the jury's about to make their final decision anyway. So, please, Mom, you can't do this. Do you have any idea how much trouble I'm already in? If they find out that I'm harboring Michael, I'm, I can't take that risk. Not for your sake or anybody else's. Mom, you don't have to do this. We can, Michael can just leave and we can pretend like no, he's never here. No, we are not doing that anymore. No more pretending, no more covering up, no more lying, none of it. We're done, all right? Haven't you learned anything? Mac, hi, it's me. Michael is in my living room. He... And now he's not. He's gone. Running a little late, juror number four? Um, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I just got a little held up. Should your delay be a cause of concern? Um, no, I guess I got a little flustered. But uh, don't worry, I'm taking this case very, very seriously. And I suggest you keep moving. All right, thank you, Your Honor. I'll see you in the court. Am I the last one here? They're all waiting for you inside. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, I can think of a good way for you to make it up to us. Admit that you're outnumbered and change your vote. So we can find Carrithos guilty and go home. You spoke with Dante? Yeah, I talked to Dante. I talked to Lulu. They didn't tell me where Michael is. You, you could have backed Dante into a corner and made him turn Michael in. I told you already, you got to leave this alone. Dante wants me to take the fall. He thinks he put together a case strong enough to convict me without Michael's Come testimony. Come on, Sonny, seriously. Honestly, if you're acquitted, do you think that Dante's going to let everything go? One thing about Dante, I don't, he's not a vindictive person. I don't think he'd turn his own brother in out of spite. He knows what it's going to cost Michael to be labeled a killer. It, it is amazing the faith you have in Dante. And I know you're giving him the benefit of the doubt because he's your son, but the truth is, you don't know what Dante's going to do.